guys, I need to be super fresh today. I have nothing to wear. I'm out of time. What do I wear? Hmm. What about this? Maybe this? What about this, guys? Okay, uh, I got something. Fresh, right? What's going on guys, your boy Coco Peking. Welcome back to the channel. Tashimie, if you're new. Yaksin mate, akso mate. If you are returning viewer from the Czech and Slovakia. Shout out to the gang, 8610, that's the name. It's actually Friday today, so TGIF. Shout out to everyone who's getting off school today. Shout out to everyone who doesn't have to work on the weekends. Hope you guys have a blessed weekend coming up. I actually have an interview coming up in about an hour. So I just wanted to vlog it today. I know it's gonna be a different video. It's not about music reaction. Okay, let's go. I'm already behind time. Approach oh, cool. Ciao, buddy. Ah, uh, quick question, guys. Um, is this shit fresh? Look at this. It's all like <laughs> up the end of the string. I mean, like, if you have this, it means that you're not fresh. But I have a trick. Now I'm fresh. Just one side note before I forget, in all of the reaction video, I haven't posted anything or any song that's relatively old. If it's older than one year, I did not put it in. I want to react to music that's currently trending and currently popping and just new to the ears, right? But I am definitely gonna drop an episode reacting to only old artists or old songs. Just to bring it back, you know, pay tribute to the old school. Okay, that's all. All right, guys, we're almost at the place. When I was in the metro, I thought about one thing that could be potentially benefit for me to make the reaction video better, is for me to understand the culture of uh, hip hop in Czech and Slovakia. So, um, because I don't understand the lyrics, I can only see their style, their image on the video, how they behave and so on. I wrote down a few artists' names and who I think that they are equivalent to, to other artists in the United States. So for example, Yozo Mandias, I think he's like Gucci Mane. Gleb and Victor, maybe they're like, more like on the Drake path. And Barracuda is more like a Rick Ross and Protiva is more like MGK. What do you guys think? All right guys, reason why I have this interview. Like, I don't even know what it is. Um, the online channel, the mag, they have shouted me out for my previous uh, reaction video. The owner, Homer, he contacted me. He's like, yo, you should come in and then do a quick segment on his channel, which is the news from the streets. So I'm like, yeah, down. Here I am, one o'clock. I'm uh, going to their store, the streets. Kind of excited. <laughs> Let's check it out, see what kind of shoes they have as well. Hello. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Check this store out, man. They got a basketball court here. You can play, I don't know, like a pickup game. It sounds like it sounds like Beastie Boys or something. Okay. So this was the first hip hop in Czech, and some people was feeling it, but mm -hmm. but it didn't didn't have the big impact like in Slovakia. You know, it's it it faded away in time. But right. in Slovakia, it started to grow like from really underground, and then you know, started to, because this uh, house it was really commercial. Everybody okay. was listening to kids. Uh, adults, everybody, you know. Cows. Okay. Yeah, cows. Yeah. I need to look we, it up. We, we should we should make some list of like all the hip hop and you sh you should like. Definitely. Uh, yeah. We just talked about contrafact. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> this was like old post office. Oh, what is this, man? It's like real safe, you know. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh. Wow. <laughs> we got some babe, you know, some champion Carl Kani. So what's, why is this part different than the upstairs? Uh, upstairs is like basketball and you know, the, uh, like sporty, it should be like more, more sport. And this is more like uh, fashion, streetwear type. This is a clothing store in a vault. Like it's literally a bank vault. And you didn't see everything yet. Oh shit. <laughs> Give me the good stuff, man. Uh, three three t-shirts like from our brand. You know Chinatown Market, the brand? No, but they're, like... They're from New York and we made like collaboration with them. 
That's pretty sick. I like the basketball. Yeah, yeah, they sell, they sell a lot of that. I think in like in America, it was started like in 80s, 70s, like yes. 70s maybe. The culture is there, right? Yeah. So, so the foundation is there, and here it started like late 90s. Yeah. So, so you know the culture is really young. I I went to a uh, a Ray Shimmer concert here, and then I was the oldest person there. At the time. Because I didn't win. <laughs> I, I was seen. I think like. I started to do these uh, videos and interviews and this type of shit. It was yeah. something before, but uh, on the web, web pages most of the times. And we did like the magazine and started doing more video. And everybody then like refresher and everybody started doing more videos. So right. We, yeah. we start. We started this shit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, cause I follow you guys. I just know the mag somehow. I just got to know it. Mm. And you guys are like the complex. Of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So, I, never, uh, I was like, it was year 2016, and still nobody was doing it. And I was like, what the fuck? So I have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's doing it. Yeah. So, so we started, you know. Oh, uh, I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, you have reached the end of the video. Spent a lot of time here. The homies show me around what the store looks like. They have a basketball court on the up floor and they have a bank vault downstairs. Shout out to the mag, shout out to the news from the streets. And um, yeah, um, hope to see you guys next time. I'm out, I have another meeting after this. I'm super late. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, comment, like. Also subscribe to the mag. Uh, shout out to these guys and um, see you guys next time. Gang, gang.